That's right, Ryan. Investigators with the Cameron County District Attorney's Office say the eight-count indictment against Ernie Hernandez is directly linked to the case of a former county employee found guilty of providing answers on a civil test to Hernandez's brother-in-law, Robert Cadriel. Chief of the Public Integrity Unit, Victor Cortez, says a grand jury handed out the indictment on Wednesday. It includes two counts of abuse of official capacity, two counts of tampering with a witness, one count of misuse of official information, tampering with government records, obstruction or retaliation and coercion of a public official. The Public Integrity Unit, formed when District Attorney Luis Sainz took office a year ago, is working with federal agencies to eliminate corruption within the county. Chief Cortez says they've known long about the possible corruption throughout the county, but it's until now that they've had the right direction to go after it. Corruption, abuse, and uh, um, bribery has been with us for years. But Mr. Sainz uh, took over last year, January uh, 2013, and he gave us our marching orders. And since he gave us those orders, we're following those orders. And just to answer your question, we're, we can only be responsible for this administration. Hernandez was not the only one indicted today. Cameron County Sheriff Deputy Arturo Ramos Jr. was also indicted on one count of official oppression. DPS Trooper Jose Angel Munoz Jr. for two counts of official oppression. And Cameron County Construction Leader was also indicted for one count of theft. At this time, Hernandez has been released from custody after posting a $35,000 bond. It was initially set at $75,000, but reduced by State District Judge Janet Leal. We, of course, will keep you posted on any new developments in this investigation. Live in the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action 4 News.